Hello, hi, welcome to American International University, Bangladesh, where we provide outcome based education for BSc in electrical and electronics engineering. The curriculum actually covers total credit for 148, where 142 are core courses and six credits are elective. All the courses are based on outcome based education. And for the outcome, we actually focus on uh, social sciences, also non engineering skills, including the engineering and design projects as well. So there are a few facts that the university practices four months trimester system and that all the theory courses are outcome based and lab laboratory courses are conducted for 10 weeks. And for the teaching learning process, we actually uh, it's based on the program outcome we actually create the course outcome and from the course outcome we actually prepare the teaching learning tools like class lectures how we will provide the lectures in the class the group discussion project works etc for example for teaching learning for say for the elect uh, electrical machines one course the course outcome has been set to apply information and concepts of basic electrical machines and the familiarity of issues. And this is aligned with the program outcome A, which is set to be defined in uh, cognitive domain, apply domain. And it also have the knowledge profiles requirement along with the complex problem requirements. So for the teaching learning, we use the since it's a cognitive domain so we actually use the lectures tutorials and finally provide assignments with the problems where students can demonstrate their knowledge up to the apply level similarly for the psychomotor domain we fix a course outcome which uses the tools for the modeling so the course outcome is set according to the domain and the teaching learning methods also depends on that so here we use laboratory experiments autocad tools and we provide assignments for effective domain we say uh, in digital logic and circuits lab we actually do the individual project and team works where we take the viva to uh, assess the effective domain so in such way we design all the course teaching learning depending on the course outcome. So there are also some open-ended experiments for each lab courses. And we actually try to uh, minimize uh, the teaching, direct teaching, instead of we try to focus on their skills. We try to build their skills. So computer aided design drafting experiments are there, open ended experiments. So we give problems to the students and they actually come up with different solutions. And that's why these open ended courses also aligned with our outcome based. So we want to see the outcome. All our uh, the whole university goals, faculty of engineering goals and AIB triple E codes are aligned with these outcomes. So first we program educational outcome. We have got the three goal for the program educational outcome. The first one is to exhibit essential engineering knowledge, electrical and electronic related fields through their career and professional academic and entrepreneur. PO2 it is to achieve leading roles in respective organizations, communicating through teamwork, professional ethics and effective communication. PEO3 is the demonstrate lifelong learning through professional development, practical training, professional clarifications. So these program educational objectives are actually are our target that after the graduation students should have these sets of skill, these requirements, but not instantly after they've been working in their respective field for after graduation for four, three to four years. So for the measurement of PEO, we actually 
uh, take the feedbacks from the alumni and the uh, industry where they are working, their employers, and from there we try to uh, measure the PEO attainment. And here is a um, where we have taken the questionnaires, uh, set some questionnaires for feedback, and uh, based on the alumni feedback using the weightage average we have calculated the attainments of PEO1 where the, from the feedback we ensured that the students who actually graduates from our program shows exhibit the essential engineering knowledge for electrical electronics and for the, their professional careers they actually achieve 76 percent achievement rate for PE2 we similar way we set some questions and from there we actually analyze that how they our graduates are doing and from there we actually find out that to achieve leading roles uh, 74 percent are achieving leading roles to organizations after four years they're uh, going through uh, follows the professional ethics effective communications and for pe3 we similarly measure that 93 percent of our graduates are actually having a good lifelong learning through professional developments practical trainings and like that all our PEOs then are actually how we attain these PEOs through our course, through our curriculum. So for that, we actually have got 12 program outcomes, engineering knowledge, problem analysis, and all these uh, 12 program outcomes. And these program outcomes are actually attained through the teaching learning tools helps us to attain this course outcome and in turn this course outcome actually attain, helps us attain the program outcomes and these courses are mapped for the POs and since one PO cannot be achieved by one single course so for that we actually split the POs in four section which we call program outcome indicators and these program outcome indicators again are assigned for with two courses so for the attainment from the course attainment course outcome attainment we actually get the POI attainment and from the POI attainment we actually get the program out PO attainment and finally we can get the overall PO attainment during uh, the graduation of a student so we actually can pinpoint that each student what skills they have got through our all the assessment tools here is one example where poa our engineering knowledge the requirement is to apply engineering knowledge of mathematics natural science engineering fundamentals and we, along with the knowledge profile k1 to k4 and from there we actually these are split into the courses different courses and they have got specific course outcomes for that and we actually uh, retain all the results from these assessment tools and we actually calculate how much POs are attained and there is one example that in a course of modern controls and systems and problem is a given this is an apply levels the course outcome is to utilize the information of knowledge transfer function and root locus of to analyze so this is a knowledge based problem so this is a cognitive domain three to apply their knowledge to solve a problem so these are the knowledge profiles we also see we have got eight knowledge profiles we also uh, we actually from all the courses we can calculate how much knowledge profiles are achieved for for example and knowledge profile k1 is a systematic theory based understanding of the natural sciences applicable to discipline which is achieved by our dc course and this knowledge profile k1 to 8 we also can see the attainment in spring we have got the attainment rates for summer we have got the attainment rates and all are very good for knowledge level <coughs> and complex engineering problem mapping is also uh, how students can show their ability to solve the complex engineering problems 
and for example depth of knowledge range of complex uh, conflicting requirements extent of stakeholders we can also see uh, using the microprocessor embedded courses students actually practically develop projects uh, these are also open-ended courses so the problem is set and the student comes up with different solution sustainable solution and sustainable development goals we also give them the sustainable development goals and they actually come up with very good solutions and we can also see how students are doing uh, solving complex problems from their assessments we also look into the activity that is the how they are working on and these are the examples of complex engineering activities so we also take the measurements of, through the vivers and how they are their attitude their professionalism their skills levels and we focus all the course outcomes also during their final year project which is we also uh, know as capstone project and PO culminations could happens with through the courses through the PO outcomes and the 12 program outcomes these are all the mappings for the, all the courses and finally faculties we have our own uh, UMS system where faculties upload the marks and we can achieve we have regular meetings OB meetings annual meetings for POs and four-year meetings for the PEOs for continuing outcomes we take feedbacks from empl employers faculties alumni also from the students we make plan we do the regular updates of the course outcomes PO outcomes and for PEOs as well we also take into uh, consideration U UGC and accreditation bodies feedback as we regularly do industrial application uh, collaborations internship capstone project industrial visit uh, so that we actually keep in touch what is industry requirements so we plan our POs program outcomes and we pre provide try to provide students with the skill sets that they would have required during their professional engagement thank you very much